Hey guys, and welcome back to another commentary. Today we're going to be looking at Sen, once again, the Korean pro gamer, and he's going to be rematching NC Yellow. Game number two here, I suppose you could say. Not sure if this was in a tournament or anything like that, but I think, I suspect it was just a casual game over Battle.net. Anyways, he's going to be spawning as the Zerg player, taking it down at the bottom left-hand position. Top right-hand is going to be NC Yellow spawning, playing as Terran. Now, if this is the real... NC Yellow, which I would, you know, suspect it is. I've got some inside sources. If it is, then it is. Um, well, he switched races to Terran, and a lot of players have taken a race switch, uh, you know, after StarCraft 2 came out. So I guess he's kind of playing his old menace, the Zerg, and I'm excited to see what's going to happen this game. Last game was a pretty fast one, where Sen kind of just went for a straight-up Roach Rush, and NC Yellow really didn't have a response for that. He, I wish if he had... Um, if he had walled off or if he had gotten faster Marauders, he would have been fine. Or perhaps even if he had gotten some quick Reapers, because he was in a position to get them, he might have delayed those Roaches from coming out. But that was not the case. So we'll see what happens in game number two. Now this map is Blistering Sands, which does have that destructible backdoor. Uh, looks like Sen went for a 13 pull. And then a pretty fast drone scout here, probably just to see if there's any, you know, bunker or anything like that. But this map is Blistering Sands, which has these destructible rocks. So this is something to keep in mind, especially if you're Zerg. Um, and if you're playing against a Terran, these rocks, you can destroy them and really gain access with Speedlings. You can just run Speedlings in here any time in the game and really harass the main of the Terran player. It's something that every Terran and any Protoss will fear. So uh, I think this map really favors Zerg, especially if they can destroy down those rocks, which really isn't that difficult once you get a, a little bit of roaches. Meanwhile, NC Yellow looks like he's getting that pretty fast refinery. He already got the racks out, but as we saw, he, he did that in game number one on Kulos, but he didn't get Reapers. He's just pumping out straight Marines, so he's probably going to throw up that factory again and then go for that Marine kind of Hellion mixture and then uh, transition into Marauders. Back at the base, Sen looks like he's getting his uh, spotting pool down already. He's not getting an expansion yet, and there is an SCV here, so that's going to block any expansion possibility by Sen. Uh, he's also getting a small pair of Zerglings, about uh, about two or four groups, or uh, four Zerglings total, along with his queen. So, uh oh, what do we have here? A hatchery building in the darkness? Whoa, what kind of cheese are we in for? Sen here trying something really ridiculous. Now we know why he didn't try to go for that expansion, because he's just going to put a hatchery right here in the main of NC Yellow. This could be huge. I wonder if he's, if he's going to try some kind of spine crawler rush or something. Wow, that'd be absolutely insane. He's got Lings moving out across the map as well. A uh, couple Marines pushing out, and NC Yellow is still not aware of this hatchery, which is almost up, and there is a factory going down. Um, here's the difficulty though, if he tries to go for spine crawlers, he's going to have to build them out of this hatchery. I don't think he's going to be able to run drones into the up the ramp. So this is pretty big, and Sen, I don't know what he's going to try to do, but this is going to be pretty crazy. NC Yellow pushing in with a couple of marines just to test the waters, and there is no hatchery, so he knows that the Zerg hasn't fast expanded yet. The hatchery is up now, the hatchery is up, so Sen is building, oh no, he's building drones. He's going to try to go for spine crawlers, but here's the thing, the creep is starting to push out a little bit, and pretty soon NCL is going to see that creep, I would imagine. Meanwhile, some action going back and forth between the players, there is a Hellion. If this Hellion can roast up these lings and get up into the main, oh, these drones are going to be in so much trouble. But the creep has extended pretty far. NCL has got to see this. There's like a little patch of creep right there. He's got to know that there are spine crawlers being built inside his main base. Oh my goodness. The Marines and Hellions are making their way in. So I think NCL is feeling pretty confident this game. He thinks that he's going to get in here and roast a bunch of uh, drones. But I don't think that's going to be the case because there's about to be some spine crawlers in his main. Meanwhile, these Hellions doing some pretty nice micro. Going to roast up these links real easily. Not going to be a problem. The Queen is going to be the hardest thing to get past if you've got pure Hellions. But the spine crawlers are pushing forward. And here comes the first spine crawler. It's getting real close. It is going to lay down. This is before the nerf to the spine crawlers burrowing. And the refinery forced to be canceled. NC Yellow knows that there's a spine crawler in his base. Oh my god goodness this is how Koreans play then how can we ever hope 
to uh, be on the same level as them. <laughs> My god, I would never expect this. Two more spine crawlers being erected. The queen, there's even a queen, there's even a queen here. Thrown down a creep tumor to extend that creep. And uh oh. NC Yellow only has Marines and Hellions. They're not very good against Spine Crawlers. He is getting a Siege Tank, though, along with Siege Tech on the way. Exactly what he needs to do. He's building another Command Center, too. So he doesn't seem too threatened by this, but he's forced to lift off his CC, which means no more resources for all these SCVs. He needs Siege Tech right now so badly, but that's about another 30 seconds away from finishing. And during all this time, there's no mining going on for NC Yellow. And, oh my goodness, Sen is doing so good right now. He could even grab an expansion. Not sure why he hasn't yet. He's sneaking some lings up into the main as well. And the spine crawlers, is about six or seven of them poking away at those SCVs. Now they're getting on the, the barracks as well. The siege tank does have siege mode ready. Oh man, is it going to be enough to take out these uh, all these spine crawlers before too much damage is inflicted? He's not got any income right now. Look at that, 267.45, that's all he gets. He does have two siege tanks shelling away at the spine crawlers, but spine crawlers do take a while to kill as well. And the queens could transfuse the spine crawlers. Here we go. Uh, spine crawlers burrowing next to uh, all these siege tanks. They're going to try to take down the tanks first, but there are some hellions up there as well. The tanks are pretty well fortified. Oh, SCV is trying to repair that. Uh oh, Ling's come in from behind. One tank already down. If this tank goes down, it is GG. That is GG right there. What a nice little sneak attack. I think this is GG because there's no more income for the Terran and uh, he's not going to be able to build any more siege tanks. He doesn't have the gas to do it and so he's floating his command center here to land him down but he is so far behind right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't see the Terran player making a comeback in this game at all. Just not going to happen. Here comes more speedlings flooding in. NC Yellow not going to try to expand. He's just going to try to end the game right now. GG calls NC Yellow.